it's another symptom of the Cleonic ego that they think, well, I, obviously, I'm the best one. Obviously, I'm the one who's stronger than the rest. All those other clone chumps can, um, can go to the back of the line. I really enjoyed season two of Foundation, and I am super excited to talk with, it, uh, with you about it. First off, I'm curious where Brother Day is playing into the dynamic of this new season of, uh, of turmoil for the Cleons and, and how these differences that we now know about are going to show themselves. I think he uh, loves it. I think he's the main, um, main one causing trouble when it comes to the, the kind of uh, cycle of Cleons. The, um, the, what, what is the word? The imperishable permanence of the dynasty as it was. I think he he sees himself very much as an individual and he's claiming his right to write his own destiny. Um, he's going to end the genetic dynasty and turn over the empire to the, um, to the empresses who had ruled before the genetic dynasty. Um, and, I, and I find that, that disruptor mentality compelling interesting i think that it's the it's a it's another symptom of the cleonic ego that they think well i obviously i'm the best one obviously i'm the one who's stronger than the rest all those other clone chumps can um can go to the back of the line because i'm um i'm here and i'm going to change things um which is uh where a little bit of our conflict <laughs> comes in <laughs> a little bit <laughs> yeah i was about to ask about that now laura obviously people have a lot of questions about where demerzel plays into this especially after that season one finale uh how is she going to play into this conflict and are we going to find out where her loyalties actually lie well yes we are we do learn uh, about her um her mission of what is like her like in her backstory her programming and the, the laws that she works under for but i think that uh, season one finale kind of the 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 fight between these two characters and they're like who gets to say the last word who's actually controlling whom and who knows how to hurt the other one worse like that is such a interesting base for the the relationship for a nucleon obviously it's an it's a new man but for her they're all the same they're the continuation of cleon the first so she remembers every one of them and they all originate from one man and from one man's mind so kind of like that starting from there and what i love about her is that the kind of the silent power that they the the ego in the palace like the men have an immense ego it's but her power is very silent and very dangerous i think because it's so held back and it's kind of like very invisible but very smart at the same time so kind of like the this dynamic between these two characters is just endlessly fun to play with mm -hmm. for us as, as an actors and kind of like just it is, yeah. Surprise is. each other. It and is, because like, every scene kind of reveals a different kind of layer to what what, what is going on between them. Um, and also, I think even the characters, they kind of like believe every now and then that maybe we are equal, but maybe there's a possibility of us ruling together. And then you kind of go like, oh, no, but what? No, 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 no wait, you're wait, my wait. robot. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is a fascinating dynamic to watch. It really makes season two. So I really appreciate you taking the time to talk with me about it briefly today. We pick up season two with Salvor finally coming face to face with Gail. Obviously, this is not the normal mother daughter kind of uh, meeting. Tell me a little bit about how that dynamic is going to play out this season. Yeah, yeah. Salvo finally gets to meet her biological mum. And it is, it's a relationship that we're going to delve into that we're going to explore. Um, and you know, sometimes they butt heads and sometimes they get really close and like, you know, share emotional things. And it's, uh, it was really fun to do. And I think it's going to be interesting for the audience to watch it. These two yeah. characters separate, you know. But talk about like a dynamic duo. This is really fun to watch them interact. But obviously, 
this is not something that Gail expected to happen. How is that kind of one-sided preparation going to play into things? Yeah, I reckon like Salvor definitely had a plan and like knew that this might happen and so has a certain expectation. And Gail definitely, I think, is is uh, kind of a bit flummoxed by it all and, and has uh, needs a bit more time. So we'll see them, you know, try and navigate that because it's tricky and it's emotional and you want connection, but sometimes you have to be patient. And so, it, and it's quite, that's quite a relatable thing, I think, with a lot of people with a lot of relationships sometimes you have to really learn to communicate those things so we'll see it and it will be interesting yeah absolutely and, and obviously they've got a lot of other stuff coming down oh, the pipe yeah. oh, too no, there's, there's many other things going on honestly like <laughs> That's the least of their worries. <laughs> it really is. I mean, they're they're finding this huge colony of metallics. They're going to discover that. And they've got this whole like tragedy coming at them for the whole entire world. Tell me a little bit about the adventure and the travesties that they're trying to prevent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, like there's crises are coming, you know, they're coming at them. They're, they're trying to prepare, they're trying to get ready. And, you know, they're going to try and um, achieve each goal as they go and put their all into it. So we'll find them go to different planets and like we're going to see them uh, go on lots of adventures and meet new people with different abilities and that can offer different things, but also offer up different challenges. And I think when we think about like Salvor, for instance, in the first season is really reacting to everything that's going on around her. This season we get that, but we also get that like we were talking about like the emotional side and the relationship side so it's a good balance of dealing with all the crises and then dealing with like just her mom <laughs> <laughs> the, the dynamics is, are really interesting this season how is it returning for a second season after already you know premiering this character and getting more into her in the, in the first yeah, no, it's been it's been great to be able to kind of delve in, expand and, you know, work with um, David and Alex and Roxanne and, and just to be able to, to to formulate a character who's even more detailed and even more nuanced. Um, you know, I said to them, look, I want to I want to shift it. I want to change it up. I want to have a good time with this. And um, I think I did. And I'm really proud of the work. Absolutely. Wonderful second season. Really enjoyed it myself. I can't wait for everyone else to see it. I can't wait to. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking with me today. I really appreciate it. Well, first of all, welcome back, Brother Don. Um, what was it like? He's back. <laughs> He's back. What was it like returning for a second season after like one hell of a death scene? Yeah, and also kind of a double death scene. I mean, season one, <laughs> I get killed twice, two different yeah. characters. So yeah, when I got that script for season two, I was very happy that I'm back and I'm alive. Um, <laughs> but not as the same dawn. I think that's the the joy of this season is starting from scratch, but starting from also a place of knowing this environment and knowing the character. But so that, that, I guess that, that, that's the fun thing about Foundation is it's not really mine it, and it's not really any of us. It's sort of Terry Lee's down mine and we all sort of bounce off each other and learn from each other in the way that we construct Cleon as a character. Um, but season two has been a joy. I, I feel a lot more this dawn, it's having an easier ride, I'd say, than season one done. <laughs> It'd be almost impossible not to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be. It definitely would be, yeah, yeah. He, he, he had a really tough time. <laughs> now, season two, there is a lot of tension, though. I mean, it, do, mm. it does feel like uh, Day is kind of leading the charge with that tension. Sure. How is uh, Don going to play in, into that? And, and now that we know that these differences exist, too. Yeah, I think it's interesting with the Cleons because they sort of, they try and use different tactics to work around each other, but then also use the same tactics of their parents to move around each other as well. So it's, I think what you'll see this season is it's almost like a chess game within that palace. Everyone's trying to outmaneuver each other and basically survive. I think what we saw in season one was a very like united family, at least from the outside. And now for the first time, Day's turning around and going, well, we're no longer united. The genetic dynasty's in the bin. So as soon as he says that, it's kind of every man for himself. It's a bit of a bloodbath for us Cleons. So I think certainly for me and Dusk, it's how are we going to get out of this <laughs> alive? <laughs> <laughs> well, and then there's this new queen entering the picture mm -hmm. and she seems quite uh, formidable. She is formidable. And I think certainly for us Cleons, I mean, as much as you can like the Cleons, they do live in an almost exclusively male environment, only talking to each other. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's almost like it's almost like a nightmare for them. Um, and so for them, and the, the only female interaction they have is 
women that they sleep with whose memories are erased or a female robot. And so for a woman in like all her strength and power to come in and really take the reins, um, it's new for them, but it's fun for the audience. It was certainly fun for me to, to read first and then to play, to have this force of nature come into our palace and really shake things up. Well, it's a wonderful season and it really is a super fun dynamic. So thank you for talking with me about it today.